everyone and welcome to a new cosplay storytime video. Today we're going to be talking about how children react to FNAF cosplayers because for my most recent convention experience, convention experience, I didn't really go to the convention but I was in the vicinity of the convention. I was around the area of Fan Expo Vancouver doing photo shoots and during that time I ran into a bunch of kids with their parents who had various reactions to me and my friend cosplaying FNAF. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Back before the pandemic happened I did a video about how kids react to has been slash hell of a boss cosplayers which was I think a really funny video and I wanted to do something in the same vein as that, so that's kind of what we're going to be doing today. It's going to be kind of like a part two to that video, but instead of talking about has been slash hello boss, we're going to be talking about FNAF. But before we get into it, today's video is kindly sponsored by Boxu. Boxu, if you don't know, is a premium Japanese snack crate subscription service that delivers original assortments of Japanese snacks and tea pairings. Every month you'll receive a box with a different theme, and this month's box is very special because it is finally Sakura season, so we get their Sakura season box, which I have right here very exciting. If you didn't know, every year Japanese cherry blossoms bloom all across Japan and people celebrate by gathering under the trees for hanami or flower viewing and enjoying picnics together. So Boxu has put together snacks and tea pairings sourced from all over the country that are perfect for your own sakura celebrations. This is Boxu's most anticipated collection of the year so you absolutely don't want to miss out. As you can see it is packed with a whole bunch of cherry blossom flavored goodies and I'm going to try a few for you guys today just to just to show you guys what cool stuff is in this box. I'm really, really excited. I have their spring gold green tea brewing right now. I have it in my little Rilakkuma cup all ready to go. Um, so I'm going to try that with some of these snacks to make the perfect tea and snack pairing. First of all, we have these Ichigo milk marshmallows, which look absolutely delicious. Let's take a look at these. These are sourced from Fukui. Oh my gosh, they're so squishy. Look at that. Oh, that's so good. It tastes like strawberry ice cream, but also has some like white chocolate to it. So it's like strawberry and white chocolate. That's so good. This next snack is sourced from Shizuoka and it is a Sakura Boucher, which is basically like a Sakura filled pastry. Oh my gosh, look at that. It has a little Sakura on it. It matches my shirt. <laughs> look at that. That's so cool. I'm going to just break it open. Oh, it has a Sakura filling to it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Mmm, that's so good. I'm gonna try it with some of the tea. Mmm, that's like the perfect pairing. Oh my gosh. So good. Boxu knows what they're doing. The next thing I'm gonna try is the Sakura Chinzuko, which is basically like a um, shortbread and it's shaped like a star. Look how cute that is. I'm sure this will go really well with the green tea. I love this box so much. Mmm, that's really good. That's like a perfect shortbread cookie. That's so good. So as you can see, this is a fantastic box. It's just filled to the brim with Sakura flavored things. It tastes good. It looks beautiful. And I definitely recommend getting your own while you can. If you subscribe to Boxu during the month of March, you will receive their Sakura season box as your first box. And you can use my code ANYA10 and follow the link in my bio to get 10% off your own authentic Japanese snack crate from Boxu. You definitely don't want to miss out on this delicious snack journey through Japan. A huge thank you to Boxu for sponsoring today's video and for sending me all these snacks. I am so excited to eat the rest of these and I'm so excited to like drink this delicious tea throughout my video. Mm, it's so good. So good. All right, all of that said, let's get into today's video. Today we're talking about how kids react to Five Nights at Freddy's cosplayers. So if you didn't know, recently I did a photo shoot weekend extravaganza, which is what I dubbed it, where I went to Fan Expo Vancouver, but I didn't actually go to the convention. I just hung out outside the convention and took photos with my friends. If you wanna see, I have a full vlog, which I'll have linked up in the eye for you to check out. I definitely recommend checking it out because it is probably one of my favorite vlogs that I've done. I'm very proud of how it came out and I think it was just like a really fun weekend to get to document and, and show you guys. But yeah, during that weekend, I did two FNAF cosplays. So I cosplayed Vanessa and then I cosplayed Glamrock Chica. And let me tell you, I had some of the most heartwarming experiences interacting with kids during this weekend. It was so awesome. So the first interaction that I had, um, I was hanging out with my friends and this mother with her child who was a little girl who was about maybe like 12 and her sister, the three of them came up to me and they were like, oh my goodness, can we please get a photo? And I'm like, oh, like I'm caught off guard by this because I didn't expect like someone so small to be in 
into FNAF, which like, I guess like most 12 year olds are into FNAF. Like it, it shouldn't be a surprise, but for some reason this caught me off guard. I was like, oh, um, yeah, I guess so. And the mother looks at me and she's like, she's absolutely obsessed with your character. I was like so shook by that. I thought that was so sweet. It's so awesome to see like a small child actually know who Vanessa is and not only know who she is, but also be like obsessed with her because like I too am obsessed with Vanessa in case you guys haven't noticed. I was so touched by that. I thought that was so sweet. So I was like, oh my gosh, absolutely. We can get a photo together. So we take a photo together and the mom's like, oh, thank you so much. And the daughter's like, thank you so much. And you could tell that she was like really, really excited because when you get to see someone cosplaying a character that you're like obsessed with and you get a photo with them it's just such a heartwarming thing and it's just there's something about being like being able to share your love of a character with a different generation is something really magical. I had this when I cosplayed Raven and I made a whole video about that too, where I talked about how like, there were very small girls who were really excited to meet Raven. And that just was such an emotional experience for me because I'm getting to share this character that meant a lot to me and had a lot of like, really huge influences on me when I was growing up. I get to share that with this next generation and I get to like be Raven to them, right? Who is this character who's had a, a huge impact on me and, and has been a very formative character for me. And I get to like share that with another generation and like be Raven to them. Like it's, it's, I hope I'm explaining this well, but it's like a very, magical experience. So it was very, a very similar experience having this like little girl be obsessed with Vanessa and I happen to be cosplaying Vanessa and we get a photo together and we get to like, I get to share that with another generation, which is like my love for this character and my love for FNAF. And so I thought that was very magical and that was very awesome. The next instance happened on the final day of the convention um, when I was cosplaying Glamrock Chica with my friend who is Roxy. And we were again, hanging out and this little girl comes up with her mom and the mom is like, oh my gosh, are you guys like Glamrock Chica and Roxanne Wolf? And we're like, yeah, we are. And she's like, oh my gosh, my daughter is like obsessed. Can we please get a photo with you? And again, it was just such a cool moment. Her daughter was about 10 years old. And again, like, like we were kind of caught off guard because I didn't expect someone so young to like recognize who we were. But again, I shouldn't be shocked because all ages are into FNAF, I think. So it, it shouldn't, it's not really like has been where has been is very much an 18 plus property. Like FNAF is, it's more mature for sure, but like it's something that all ages seem to be into. So I shouldn't be surprised. But anyway, we were very excited that this little girl like knew who we were. And this, this girl is like absolutely beaming. Like even though she's wearing a mask, you can tell that she's absolutely beaming and the mom is absolutely beaming. And they're both like, oh my gosh, can we please get a photo with you? So we're like, yeah, absolutely. And so the mom takes a photo. The daughter is thrilled um, while we're taking this photo. You can tell that she's just like super excited. And so the mom takes the photo and she's like, oh my gosh, this is like, she's taking the photo and she's like, oh my gosh, this is such a big moment for her. This is so, this is so exciting. And we're like, oh my gosh, that's so, that's so great. And, um, it was just really, really heartwarming that the, that the mother was like, oh, this is such a big moment. Like, it's really nice to be able to provide that to a child. It usually happens when you're cosplaying like a Disney princess or for me when I'm cosplaying Daphne, that's typically when it happens when you have like younger children be excited to see who you are. So it was really cool getting to have like my current hyper fixation, which is FNAF, be something that I can share with, again, younger generations. And for me to be able to like make their day by getting photos with them. I think that's really, really cool and really, really cute. And um, again, I mean, it, now that I'm saying it, it doesn't seem like that intricate of a story, but I just need to reiterate that like, it's just such a magical feeling when you have a child come up to you and recognize who you are. And not only that, but be very excited to get a photo with you because you're a character who they like, like these are characters that I really love and they love these characters just as much. So you're able to like share that love with like, another generation like it's very magical and very very cool and it's just awesome to be able to like share that kind of thing
you know? The final thing that happened happened on the same day. This was towards the end of the day and we had met this huge group of other FNAF cosplayers and they were super nice and we all took a group photo and I actually have it on video. Um, there was this little boy with his family and he sees us and he's like, oh my gosh, I don't even know how old he was. He was maybe like six or seven like he was small and he was like I, well i'll just roll the tape for you wait you guys are the guys from uh, five nights at freddy's security yeah. Wait. Yeah. I realized I said roll the tape. Um, we don't use tapes anymore. This shows how old I am. 90s baby. But anyway, that was just so cute that that he was like, oh my gosh, you guys are the are the characters from Five Nights at Freddy's, and then proceeds to like name all of the ones that we are. And then we didn't get this on tape, but after we took the photo, we were walking down the stairs and he's still watching us and he tells us that Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach is my favorite video game. And I'm like, wow, you have good taste, don't you? And it was just so cute oh my goodness um just again being able to like be recognized by such a small child was like surprising but also just very adorable and i just it's so cute it's so cute I love it. So that is how um, little kids react to Five Nights at Freddy's cosplayers. Um, they are delighted. They love to see it. And what I also thought was really cool was that the majority of the interactions we had were with little girls, right? You kind of think like Five Nights at Freddy's, you kind of think is more of like a male dominated fandom, but like girls love FNAF just as much as boys love FNAF, right? It was really awesome to see other girls be as excited about FNAF as I am about FNAF. So like, I thought that was super awesome and super cool. And it's just cool getting to be like the cool female role model. Um, well, maybe not role model. I The characters from FNAF, you probably don't want them to be your role models, but y you know what I mean. I get to be like the cool female character to these like younger girls who like look up to these characters and like I get to be that character and they get to like look up to me sort of, which is like really cool. Anyway, it's just it all means a lot, you know, it all means a lot. Hopefully you guys get the idea. It's just a huge like magical experience and it's just it's just very cool. Anyway. That is my video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Another reminder, if you want to subscribe to Boxu, you can use my code ANYA10 and use the link in my bio to get your own authentic Japanese snack crate subscription from Boxu. Again, it is a service that I genuinely recommend. I love it. I am so excited to eat all these snacks that they sent me. It's going to be great. Thank you as always for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. And if you have your own experiences cosplaying FNAF and interacting with kids, I would absolutely love to hear them. So please be sure to leave those in the comments please and thank you anyway i will see you guys all next time but until then panda faces please be sure to take care bye